Hi everybody, my name is Dusan, I'm the head roaster at Goat Story, and uh, today I want to introduce you to a sort of the classic coffee from our lineup. It's called the Ethiopia Suke Kuto. Uh, this is the second year we have uh, the Suke Kuto in our lineup, and this year's harvest is, I'd say, a huge improvement to last year's, and even though last year's coffee was really, really nice. Uh, what's really special about this coffee is that it, that it is 100% traceable all the way back to the farm and to the growers. And uh, to do that, <coughs> the, the supplier of this coffee for us, Traboka, uh, teamed up with Fairfood, which is a sort of company that uh, works with blockchain and uh, uh, food chain from farm to your plate. And uh, they made this coffee traceable from the farm to your cup. So you should really check the website, we have the link there where you can trace this coffee. But uh, what I want to talk about is how to prepare this coffee. Uh, this coffee is a perfect example, example of our roasting philosophy. Uh, and uh, we roast every coffee as only roast. So that means it's actually suitable for every brewing method. Why do we do that? Because I believe that every coffee has a specific peak point uh, where its flavors are at its peak. So it's really nice for filter coffee, for French press, for espresso. And this coffee works as a really, really nice cold brew coffee as well. So for when you're brewing filter coffee, uh, you can really play with temperature with this coffee. It will take anything from 91 to all the way to 98 degrees, uh, degrees uh, Celsius. Uh, because this is a lighter roasted coffee. So because I didn't apply so much heat during roasting, you can apply more heat during brewing. So play with this coffee. If you already have it, enjoy it. If you don't have it yet, you should really try it out.